Hello, AMZ here of AMZ's Antics. Welcome to my channel. I hope you're well today because I have another Christmas crafty session to share with you. And in this week's video, I am making some DIY Christmas cups using glass cups and some etching cream to create some beautiful Christmas designs on the glass cups. All you're gonna need is some glass cups, etching cream, and a Silhouette Cameo 4 to create your vinyl stencil for the etching cream. So if you would like to see the process of making in the DIY Christmas cups, then let's get Christmas crafting. So I'm creating my design in Design Studio that comes with the Silhouette Cameo software and I have got the designer edition but you can use the basic package it will still do the job which is fabulous and I'm just setting up my page to create the design on now I am using a 12 by 12 cutting mat because my vinyl is 12 by 12 that I buy from Amazon and I can link down some links to vinyl options down below if you want to check out the ones I'm using so first I am just using this really good feature on the silhouette studio which is a note taker I guess you could call it and it's just to write a little bit of information down so I can remember what font I have used and what sort of height I need to make the stencil so for the cups we need to make a stencil and it is going to be a square of seven centimeter high by 16 centimeters long I believe so we're just going to create a rectangle so it's not a square because it's not equal is it so it's a rectangle with these measurements so that's what I am doing here so now it's time to create the design for the DIY Christmas cups and what I am making here is basically a stencil out of vinyl. So we already have our stencil outline which is the rectangle box and now we need some words and maybe some images. So what I'm doing here is creating the stencil outline and how to make a stencil is we reverse weed the vinyl. So we remove the letters from inside that box rather than remove the box from the letters as you would with normal violin, vinyl, if that makes sense. So what I'm doing here is just changing up the font to Candy Lane. And I believe I got this from Font Bundles or Design Bundles. And if I find it, I will link it down below if you want to use the same one. It is a free font, um, but be always be sure to check the licensing on fonts before you use them, especially if you want to make these to sell rather than give away as gifts or use it to display in your home. So what I am going for in this design is hot chocolate and Christmas films because that is just pure Christmas, is it not? Um, so this is what I am doing here. I have just changed the fill of the words to a red just so I can see how the words look. Now, what is important is you choose a font that will be easy enough to weed um, because if it is more delicate, and finer then it can be harder to use the etching cream to create the etch design on the glass cups so the second font that i am going for here and i can't write quite remember where i got this from but it is a it's called channel font so again check licenses um and this is basically a bit of a dupe of a hallmark christmas film font so it does look quite christmasy and it may look familiar but it is a dupe so do check it out online somewhere and check the creative um what's it called licenses um so what i'm doing here is just arranging it all in that rectangle and lining them up so that it is in the middle and the perfect positioning to put on to the cup once it is cut out. And then I thought I would be a bit fancy and add a few designs, picture designs should I say, onto the stencil. And I've gone with some holly here but as you can see I did try out a few other options and I think I got them from design bundles as well. So if I find them I will link them again down below. So I'm just playing around with the positioning and then checking where the cut lines are. Uh, in the send tab just to make sure it all looks like it is gonna send properly and then I came up with a few more designs so if you want to pause it here I have a few designs to go on to my DIY Christmas cups and as you can see some are a bit more seasonal about the cozy weather and treating your elf because who doesn't love a good pun and of course not forgetting a great quote from the elf film because 
Buddha the Elf is the expert on Christmas. So yes, do pause it here if you want to see some of my designs. Then I'm just setting up to a glossy vinyl and using the over cut option just to make sure it cuts out nice and evenly. And here is the footage of it being cut out. Now the important thing to remember once it is cut out is to remove the matte or the vinyl yeah remove the mat from the vinyl not the vinyl from the mat and um, so turn it upside down and pull the mat away and you will see here how it is cut out and i did lose some footage of weeding it but this is how you want to aim to have it weeded and then we're going to put it onto our glass cups so here are the glass cups that I'm going to use and I think these ones homed some Irish coffee. They look like Irish coffee cups. They are only tiny so you'd only get a little bit of hot chocolate but sometimes that's all you need. So what you want to do is make sure that your vinyl is well stuck to the transfer tape um, because you want all of that design to go with it because obviously the inner parts of the vinyl need to go on to the cup to create the letters if that makes sense and what I'm doing here is just using some rubbing alcohol to clean the glass surface to help the vinyl adhere properly and stop any grime stopping that etching cream so here I am just peeling that backing tape off of the vinyl ready to be put onto the cup now as you will see this doesn't go on quite as smoothly as I would like so my top tip would be to get some rolled up um, towels and place the cup in there so you can center the vinyl really well um, because placing it on from the front side if that makes sense is a bit harder it's better to go over and down onto the cup but what you want to do is just smooth this on and make sure you get rid of many air bubbles as possible making sure the vinyl is sitting flush because any air bubbles near the letters will cause the etching cream to seep through and another top tip is to maybe cut the vinyl in places so that you can manipulate it a little bit better obviously not cutting into your design but cutting so that you can place it on as neat as possible and then we're going to use some armor etch which is the etching cream to etch the design now safety first when using this etching cream you want to make sure you are covering your hands so I am using vinyl gloves because it is corrosive so getting it on your skin can be quite harmful and then I'm also using a sponge paintbrush to dab the etching cream onto the design what you want to do make sure you've removed that transfer tape so you can get to your stencil and then just gently dab the etching cream onto where the letters are cut out and this will then begin etching into that glass to create a nice frosted design now you have to leave this i can't remember quite um, the amount i think it's about five minutes um it will tell you on the bottle how long to leave the etching cream so just make sure you place it in the places where you want it to be etched and try not to knock it on any of the bits where you don't want it to be etching because it will etch it um, so yes leave these as the time specifies and then we're gonna run to the sink well maybe not run to the sink we're gonna go to the sink and run the water and what you want to do is wash off that etching cream from the design and once you have rubbed off all that excess etching cream you then want to remove the vinyl so that it leaves you with a blank glass and your design So once the etching cream and vinyl have been removed, then you should be left with a lovely etched design on your glass. Now, as you can see here, some of my etching cream did bleed a little bit and some of the letters are a little bit smudged, but I think it turned out great anyway, and it adds a bit of character. But if you've got the vinyl just right, then you shouldn't have any bleeding. Now, if you do want to add a little bit more pizzazz to this and a bit of colour to your etching, you can use something called rub and buff, which basically you buff in the colour to the etching cream. So what you want to do is place a little bit of rub and buff, and I will link down below on Amazon where I bought mine from, um, onto some kitchen roll, and generally just rub it over that etched area until it buffs in the colour. Now you might have to do a few layers um, to get the colour to properly stick and also you may find if you rub too much it will rub it off as well so you've got to do it gradually and once you have rubbed it 
in and wiped away any of the excess on the glass then you should have a lovely color design on your glass and the DIY Christmas cups are ready to be used and enjoyed at Christmas. The city is covered in so they have how to make DIY Christmas cups using glass cups and some etching cream to create some really nice designs. Now you can create any design that you like and you could personalize any glasses so you could use letters, you could use names, you could put whatever you wanted as long as you can weed it out of the vinyl stencil and apply it smoothly to the glass surface then the possibilities are endless now i did have a few mishaps which you probably will have spotted you know if you don't quite line the vinyl up properly you'll get some air bubbles you want to make sure you get rid of as much air bubbles as possible because any vinyl that is lifting up is a chance for the etching cream to seep behind and sort of ruin some of your letters which i did find happened but you know you win some, you lose some, and I still think they look great. It hasn't ruined it too much. And then adding on that rub and buff to give it a little bit of colour. What a genius idea. I've seen this done a few times because I was thinking, how can you etch with colour? And I saw this, so I've tried it out. It works. Now, do be careful because if you rub it too much, the colour does come off, so you might have to put a few layers onto it. But yes, I haven't tested this in a dishwasher or anything because we don't have one. Um, or washing them but I think it will last up a little bit but maybe if you're going to use a rub and buff you want to use them for items that are maybe going to be more for display rather than use because you may find that the colour does rub off but you know they look pretty nonetheless so let me know what you think of this DIY in them comments below and whether you'll be having a go at etching some glass this Christmas they'll make perfect gifts I think and if you've got any tips and tricks with applying vinyl to curved glass services then put it in the comments because you know I didn't always do it the best so I'd love to know any trips and tricks that you may have and if you enjoyed the video then please do give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to keep up with all my creative and crafty antics coming up onto the channel i have a few more christmas crafting coming up so be sure to hit that notification bell as well so you don't miss any more christmas crafting and whilst you're there I have my blog so I've linked that down below and up above which sometimes has, has a little bit more information on so be sure to check that out as well. And with that said I will see you in next week's video and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and week. You're able to do something creative and crafty to pass the time and something that makes you joyful like maybe making some DIY Christmas cups. Who knows? And until the next one, bye!